Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to beat the Fool's Idol. I don't think this is a very hard boss, but... Well, I wanted to show you all the bosses, so I think this one belongs there as well. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing is I'm, I'm going to do is just prepare myself. I'm um, showing you here my... Um, my equipment right now. My armor is mostly picked together uh, to still give me light rolling. So that's uh, very good. Uh, I also did some uh, gathering of uh, grasses right before I started because well that's uh, yeah just really easy to do. So that's also uh, yeah, a thing you should consider doing just gathering some of these but it's not really that hard that necessary for this, this boss actually uh, this is my build I'm going to upgrade uh, my build a bit here because well I had souls left I'm trying to go for a dex build here because it uh, has treated me well in the previous souls games I played well next ones Anyway, the, the games I bought, uh, played before this one. Yeah, so basically, actually, in this uh, level, I really thought the level was harder than the boss. It's just, yeah, yeah. I think I think really that was the, the yeah. Well, you'll 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 see. So I was just checking if I had better armor, but I didn't. So I walked uh, the wrong way there, but that's not really a problem. <laughs> so there's this uh, zombie skeleton thing here. They're really easy to, to beat. Um, you might have some problems if they surround you, but I don't think you have. We will have. And these pillars are really nice for the next enemy you're going to see. Um, I already thought I should have uh, met one, but I didn't. There's these tentacles people there. And you can really hide well behind the pillars. Um, the electrical thing she shot just now that's the most dangerous um, attack so the electrical thing she did second uh, gets you stuck and then they attack you uh, really hard it could be a one-hit kill if you don't have a, a lot of vitality she also does uh, the other attack uh, you've you've seen me get hit by but it doesn't really do that much damage just got to be careful with that one. It's, it, it is dodgeable. Um, you basically dodge it by getting out of the way. Um, it doesn't really have much range. The electrical things, these are dangerous. That can really get you killed. So basically when you die before a boss fight, you have to redo the whole thing in Demon Souls. Um, which I wasn't really used to from Dark Souls, but... They did it in a way that it's really easy to get back to where you want to be. There are a lot of shortcuts and a whole lot of areas where you were in, you don't need to be in again. So I don't think that's a real problem or anything. Uh, this is also more level based, like um, unlike Dark Souls. It's something I've noticed. Um, that's not really a problem because uh, they don't really make it that obvious that it's, uh, it, it's split up in levels. Uh, like uh, if you have Otogi, it's a lot more uh, obvious that it's split up in levels. So Yeah. So here I'm waiting behind the pillar to attack her. To attack her. Uh, that's a pretty good strategy to deal with them. 
Actually, here I she had enough time to hit me, uh, and I think that's because I left uh, too little space for myself. So my sword kept hit hitting the wall, um, which made it so that she could uh, hit me. I was walking there to see if I, I could save him already, but I couldn't. I don't exactly know um, what to give him yet. Maybe I already have the item, but I might, uh, I might check, I might check it uh, soon enough. Uh, there's also the s uh, another guy uh, close by here. I do I'm not going to walk towards him because I uh, already walked there. Uh, however, he's there and um, I'm going to show you an area soon where you can find the key for him. Uh, so yeah, the, 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 the sage is the one I'm talking about. Okay, there are two tentacle people here and I wasn't really paying attention. So you'll see me almost die here pretty much. <coughs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you saw the electrical bolt again. It's really dangerous. Like, I was lucky there that I, di I didn't get hit there. I'm using Crescent Moon Grass uh, to heal here because I wanted to leave some for uh, the boss fight. If the boss fight didn't go too well, but in hindsight, the boss was really too easy to need such an amount of half moon grass. But you, yeah, you never know. All right, I'm walking towards uh, uh, the statue on the right. Uh, normally you approach that from the front uh, if you do this area for the first time and it will kill you. But if you go through the area where I went, uh, you can find a key for it also um, somewhere close um, here. Then you can uh, walk up behind the statue and disable it uh, with the lever there so that you don't get shot to bits. Because if you get into that area and you see that statue, don't walk towards it, uh, go close. Uh, there is a key close, but after you get the key, you walk around. You don't walk up to the the, the statue. That will only get you killed. So now it's time, finally time for the boss. It's a really easy boss. Uh, I was in the beginning. I was a bit con. In the beginning I was a bit confused because uh, the fool's idol doesn't exactly attack you in the beginning. As you can see. Uh, she will just wait until you get close. So, can, so you can all take all your time to loot this area pretty much. So this is just me um, attacking the, the, the zombie skeleton guys. Being very confused that I wasn't attacked yet. Because uh, this is actually my first try. So yeah, I'm just attacking these uh, guys. Reading the messages and everything. Alright, here she begins... Uh, I think she begins laying out traps that will actually activate later on. I was a bit lucky there that I was backstabbing and I was in my invisibility, uh, invincibility frames. But I think she's actually laying traps there. Because I got hit by these green things several times and I didn't really know why. But I think these are traps that will only activate later. But as you can see I can just keep attacking her, it's not really a problem or anything. 
until this point. Now she spawned a, a clone, which um, at the beginning I didn't really uh, notice. Yeah, I noticed she was a clone, but I didn't really notice that that you couldn't hit her or anything. Uh, two real ways to to know um, if she's the clone or not is that she has a, her own health bar, the clone, um, and she does the tiny uh, arrows instead of the big ones. So I didn't really notice that in the beginning, but it's an uh, easy way to check. And as you can see, I get constantly get trapped by the green uh, things, and I think that's because I didn't really uh, see them as traps. I thought, oh, if you stand in them while she's doing them, then you uh, get stuck. But it's, I, I think it's really a trap. Not that it hampered me that much at all. I mean, as you can see, she's not really a threat to me at all. Like, I almost died there because of sheer... Uh, yeah, well, for me, what it was a bit of bad luck, but... Even then, I, I can easily um, get myself healed in anything. I didn't really have to pay much mind to the to the bosses like norm I normally would. I wasn't really cast cautious in this uh, boss fight either. It's just attacking. If I didn't get, um, you actually can um, attack the f idol while um, she's disappearing. I didn't do that either. But so uh, you can get a bit more hits in them. Well, as you can see, I already uh, killed her. I was I was pretty surprised myself that there wasn't a second run or anything. It's just attacking. So now I'm about to get picked up by the the, the gargoyles, uh, and it's already done. So yeah, that was my uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and anything.